Hey guys, so it's me, Believe Gaga, and it is time is it? It's five oh six in the morning. Um, I really hope to have some exciting concert footage from you, like the Ariana Grande one. And who I was gonna see tonight was Lana Del Rey. Now it was for Saturday, May 9th. 7.30 p.m. They said rain or shine. She's going to perform. And I've seen concerts that they performed in thunderstorms like Kelly Clarkson here in town in San Antonio. This was at the Gexa Energy Pavilion in Dallas, Texas. I mean, there was severe weather warnings and stuff, but nothing really happened. It was just, I guess, thunder, but no lightning, no rain. Not even, like, strong gusts of wind, really, as to what she posted on Instagram, but I could see, like, the safety concern, but supposedly it wasn't her decision, and she was upset that that happened, but, um, I mean, I don't even know. It was San Antonio to Dallas is, like, a five-hour drive at most sometimes I mean it was basically give or take 12 hours to and from if you really like calculate everything I mean I'm just so tired I woke up at like 8 in the morning so from 8 in the morning to get to the venue at like 6 due to traffic and then I mean Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I know there's even people that traveled way longer, way farther than I did to hopefully see you, Lana, but, I mean, I know you even apologized on Instagram because I was checking, and you said that you're, like, really upset and stuff also, and you wanted to tell us yourself, but you couldn't, and, I mean, am I mad at you? No. Am I upset? Yes, not with you, but about the whole situation. I mean, I feel like, yes, I understand why you want outdoor, I guess, arenas for your tour, but Texas around this time isn't, like, the best for, like, outdoorsy stuff, because, I mean, we just have, like, too many weather problems, basically, if you ever see, like, Texas weather I mean, one day we can be, like, 30 degrees, the next day it's, like, 80 degrees and sunny, and then the next day it's just, like, pouring rain, so, I mean, we're pretty unpredictable either way, but, um, I don't know. Oh, I mean, it was the second show of your Endless Summer Tour, and I was so excited, because I missed you, I think, two, two times already at Austin City Limits, and then, um, I believe at the Woodlands Pavilion or something like that, so... I had already missed you twice, and I said, okay, this is it, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make it. Like, almost everyone, we got our tickets in December, my friend and I, and then my mom as well, so, I mean, we traveled, like, kind of, I mean, we say so far, but I mean, other people traveled from, like, Kansas and stuff that I've been seeing on Twitter, just to see you, but I mean, we traveled our fair share of far enough to see you, and, I mean, I was just very upset and torn at the whole situation when it got cancelled and I was like why didn't you come out yourself but I think it was better that you didn't come out yourself because that would have looked so bad on you because when like the announcer said like your show is like postponed or cancelled I mean everybody lost it everybody was so pissed off everybody was yelling everybody was booing you everybody was like saying F you Lana like we want a refund do I want a refund No, honestly. I just want you to put on the show again. Honestly, get rid of Courtney Love. Not saying she's bad or anything. I mean, she's a bit too crazy for your audience. I mean, well, um, she even says it herself. Like, she's like, oh, like, you weren't born when I wrote this and stuff. So it's like, why kind of have someone like that opening for you that 
kind of puts the crowd down and just doesn't really connect with the audience because she's like, oh, you guys are too quiet and blah, blah, blah. I mean, do I know Courtney Love? No. Did a lot of people in the audience know Courtney Love? I really don't think so. I mean, there's only a handful of people at your show. I know probably because, like, maybe you loved Kurt Cobain so much and stuff like that. So maybe, like, in honor of or, like, whatever, you'd have Courtney Love performing. But, I mean, I don't... Like, I don't even know who Courtney Love is, honestly. Like, even searching her up, like, months before, like, I still don't know who Courtney Love is. And I feel bad when I don't know who an opening act is. So, all in all, I mean, it kind of felt like they say, like, today wasn't going to be a good day when I woke up. Because I said, something feels odd about this day. And then when you canceled your show, I mean... I just, I don't even know what to feel. I was, I felt, like, mad, upset, and, like, everything, like, just waiting, excuse me, like, waiting for you, waiting for this day, waiting for the weekend, it just, it just sucked, honestly, I mean, Saturday of all days, like, I don't know, it was like the best day, it was kind of like here in town, I guess, you know, I mean, it's like five and a half hours away, but it's kind of close enough, I guess, so, I don't know, like, it was a stressful week, it was this, it was that, I know there are plenty of people that have plenty of problems, mine's no sob story, but, I mean, I was just really looking forward to seeing you live, because, I mean, most of the people that go, I'm they just go just to say they see you. But for me and my friend and my mom, like, we went because we love you. And I know you've said it before in your shows, like, you know that people or your fans, your true fans, are the ones that appreciate the show, who go to see you, who go to hear the music and to hear you sing. And it's not to be like, oh, does Lana Del Rey sing live? Does Lana Del Rey lip sing? Does she suck when she sings live? That's not what I care about. I really just want to see you, to be in your presence. And I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, at the end of the day, everybody kind of wants that. But I just, I don't even know where to go with this video, you guys. I'm just ranting, I guess. But the fact that the show really got canceled just kind of made me, like, angry because I saw Kelly Clarkson here in town, and there was, like, thunderstorm, and it was raining so hard the night before, and people were camping out at the mall just to see her, and even on the same day, it was raining. When I saw Taylor Swift, we were caught outside in the rain with a tornado warning, and they didn't even cancel the show still, and they still made us wait outside in line for a good hour before we even came inside. And then, like, even when I saw, like, Lady Gaga and stuff, like, we were waiting outside and everything pouring rain, like, horrible weather, did that make anything move faster? No, they just left us a little bit outside, and we kind of just went in single file, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've been in weather conditions that are severe, but I mean, the fact that this one got canceled when none of the other ones did, it was just like, to me it felt ridiculous, but I know it wasn't you, Lana, I know it's probably like your camp or something that's like, oh, well, we should just cancel it, but if there's anything that I'm really, really asking for everyone, like, I will speak on behalf of everyone at the show tonight, Lana Del Rey. It's that I ask that you set the show mid-June, like, a week after your last show in Florida, or you set it in July, but July and then, like, the first week of August, because I know college students are going to be beginning college classes, and then other kids are going to be going back to school. And then the week after um, your June, I feel like that's kind of a good-ish enough time. And then all of July, like, you can choose from there because, I don't know, it's the middle of summer, you know? And, um, I don't know, like, I guess no one won your signed guitar tonight <laughs> on your raffle and stuff. And I know a lot of people travel, they got plane tickets, they spent like thousands of dollars just to go to Dallas to see you. And then for it to be canceled, just, I guess it really got on everyone's nerves, but 
I mean, at the end of the day, was I upset? Yes. Was I mad? Yeah, I was. I was kind of mad, but I got over it because I was more sad than anything. Like, I was just... I really just wanted to see what I had been looking forward to this day. <sighs> School had been so stressful and life had been so stressful, so I was just waiting to see you, but... I mean... Sometimes things happen for a reason. Things don't go the way we want or go the way as planned. In your case, putting on a show for us, that didn't go as planned because of weather and everything. And whoever decided to cancel, because I know you didn't have the last word. Um, and then people who are just screaming, like, I want a refund and stuff. I'm like, this is so stupid. I mean, they're stupid, Lana. Like, you're not stupid. Um, you are so kind and you have such a huge heart. And I can't wait for Honeymoon. I love the songs and Big Eyes. I only see the movie because of you. Um, I can't wait for the song that they used for the trailer of Adeline to be on Honeymoon. I mean, I don't know. And, and anything else, Lana Del Rey, I ask of you personally, if you'd be willing to somehow reach out to me and if I can meet you and just give you a hug or something, because I just feel really upset that I wasn't able to meet you, so. I mean, even just to see you live, I mean, that was just something I was waiting for for like a while, and unfortunately that didn't happen, so. I don't know, so I guess that was my little rant on your concert. Tonight in Dallas, May 9th, and it was the second show of your Endless Summer Tour, so Courtney Love was okay, I guess, but I feel she doesn't click with your crowd, and I mean, I just really want to see you and hear your voice live, Lana, and if anything, please move the show, reschedule it to mid-June. And then July, first week of August, somewhere between those days. Um, I don't know if it'd be possible for you guys to give out a shirt. And if anything, um, please have shirts in bigger sizes for some of us. Because two of the concerts that I've gone to, One Direction and yours, the biggest size you guys had in shirt was a large that was still left and your extra larges and your two X's have been like those sell out fast so instead of having so many small through larges please carry a bit more extra large and 2X 2XLs I mean if no one's gonna say it there are a lot of fat people here and I'm one of them so for you to have bigger size shirts would be amazing Lana so please Keep that in mind. Um, I can't wait for Honeymoon. Um, to everyone who was at the show that got cancelled. I mean, just be glad that we all had the opportunity to almost have the chance to see Lana Del Rey because she works so hard for her music and everything. Um, Lana, if you see this, please reach out to me and can I somehow just like give you a hug? Or something, I don't know. If there'd be a way for me to meet you. Because I was just so upset and stuff. And I really just... I really want to meet you and just give you a hug or something, Lana. And... I don't know who's going to win that same guitar. Or that raffle just got, like, cancelled since the show got cancelled or whatever. But, um... It'd be nice if I could meet you, Lana Del Rey. And if you could reschedule the show. Like I've said. In those days. And if that can't happen, can you at least come to my graduation, Lana? I can send you an invitation. It's June 4th, if anything. So that'd make me really happy for at least. And I don't know. I think I'm just going to go to sleep because it's like 5.15, 5.20. So I'm still dressed in what I was going to wear to your concert. And... I just, I guess I'll go shower and like cry myself to sleep somehow because I just really wanted to see you. But, oh well. But that was my video, guys. Sorry that there's no concert footage for Lana Del Rey. 
Um, I'll try to make a fragrance review soon. I kind of reorganized all my fragrances, so I'm trying to pick them out soon. And I'll just see how it goes. So, thanks for watching, you guys.